had pretty much a crazy morning here. So number one, I feel perfectly fine, except sound terrible and I also woke up today my eyes are all swollen my eyes are red and <laughs> this is so gross I can't even believe that I'm telling you this but I'm going to anyways because whatever um this last week I have told Deb I have never had a cold or anything where my eyes just ran like I had, I would lay down and I would have drainage from my eyes on this side and this side both. Like I'm like, why are my eyes watering so much? And then <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> I've been saying, I don't think it's water. It seems like it's mucus from my sinus. And I swear it is. <laughs> Today when I woke up and my eyeball was pink and it's not pink eye. I know what pink eye is. I've had that many times too. It's pink eye burns and it hurts and it sort of itches and it's gooey. It's not that. This is just, I swear there's snot coming out of my <laughs> Anyway, I called the doctor. I can't get in until tomorrow, but I just think I need to be seen. I think I'm I think this has turned into now a sinus infection, not only because of my eyes, but my ear is still clogged up. My ear almost hurts and it, it feels like I need to gouge something in that too. It's just, I'm a mess. Okay, just in this short of time, I've gotten two messages saying with this COVID strain that pink eye is part of it. It doesn't feel like pink eye. I've had that before, but I'm still going to the doctor and mentioning that. So who knows what it is? Also, I never gave you this update when we were, I think we might have been, maybe we were in Alaska and our refrigerator came in, but not the freezer. The freezer won't be here until July 4th. <laughs> Today was the day where they delivered the refrigerator this morning and it took them a long time because getting it in there and whatever, but the cabinet guys have to come back to put the cabinet front on, which we already know they're not going to come out for that. So they probably won't come out until after the other one is delivered to do them both at the same time. But I asked them what the heck is going on. I said, surely they're not still blaming COVID for all of this late stuff. And he said that Sub-Zero and what's the other brand that's associated with them? Those two brands. We ordered ours in January of 2022. He said it was probably a month or two after you ordered them. The government stepped in and said, you can't use this type of Freon anymore. You have to use this type of Freon, which therefore made them have to go in and redesign the entire working system of these refrigerator and freezers. Good old you know who. <laughs> also said he's got someone who ordered from the same company, not this style, some other style, and they ordered in January of 22, right before we did, Theirs is not going to come until January of 2024. We also got our garden boxes delivered today. And I'm sure hoping they're not an ugly color. I'm going to open one up and look. Okay, no, they'll be fine. They're like an off-white. I was afraid they were called pearl white. But with this label, I was going, they better not be yellow. Um... But these are ones that you can configure how you want them. I believe there are several different ways. So this one is like a rectangle. You can make them into a square. You can make them shorter and like wider. So we got these and then we have a few more coming along with the fabric that we put down first. Never mind my pasty white legs. I haven't self tanned them in a while, but I'm going to put the link to these here. I am ordering another couple pair in 
different colors because they are so comfortable. Elastic waist, pockets, and just the perfect length. I got a question about this sweat this sweater and it's old from Target. I don't think that it's still available. If it is, I'll look. But I also want to share this t-shirt. It has this like little ruffle sleeve. They are so cute. I think I got my regular size, but I'll type it on the screen. That's how excited they are to see. ladies. Deb worked on today with her skid loader. She kind of squared this all out. This is going to be our garden. We are going to put a picket fence around, which we want to start that soon. And there will be like a little gate here. So here is the chicken coop, a little gate here and those those flower boxes that I showed you earlier. We want an arbor here, which will like attach to the fence, that we want to use these old round porch columns that we have for that. So this project is going to be started hopefully soon, in the next couple of weeks, I hope. We could do the picket fence tomorrow. I know. We may start the fence earlier than anything else. Are the porch columns that we want for that arbor? Somebody gave them to us, so I think they will look nice there. We have one more thing to do tonight, and that is our wine. We have to do a few things to both kinds. We're making Merlot and Blackberry. So, get out of her way. <laughs> Deb's brave and going to try it first. I'm going to try anything one time. This is the Merlot. Tastes exactly like Merlot. You'll like it. Does it really? Mm -hmm. We're taking it out of here, putting it in here, and then we have to add a few things. We, we don't, we really don't know what we're doing. We're just following these directions. 